What's up, YouTube? Y'all doing good? You good? You good? I'm good. You good? Okay, good. All right, so today is uh, sad Sunday, April the 16th, is it? It's Easter. I know that. I don't know the date. Yes, April 16th. Um, and I just figured it was time to come on here and come on here and start a new vlog, even though I haven't edited the last vlog that I had, which was like three, four weeks ago, probably longer than that. Um, probably got two vlogs that need to be edited. Anyway, I just want to come do a vlog because I haven't seen y'all in a while, and since I'm not doing anything on my um, cooking channel, I might as well do something on my vlog channel for those of you who are subscribed to both channels. But anyway, I'm on my way to work. It is 6.49 right now, which means I'd be, be hopping on in that car and getting to work because I got to be at work at 7. So, uh, yeah, I just want to come do a little intro, um, check in with y'all, see how y'all doing. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll talk to y'all in the next clip. We got to catch up on some stuff. See, this is the part I hate. See, that's why my vlogs are so long because I don't vlog on a consistent basis. And then when I come back on my vlogs, I try to update y'all, the, the five people who actually watch this video. I try to update y'all on everything that's going on. And then the vlog, I just I, I end up talking too much. And then, you know, I don't want to cut too much out, but then I try to cut enough out to make the vlog small enough but that doesn't happen because I talk too much like I'm doing right now but anyway um yeah that's why my vlogs will be so long sometimes because I don't vlog on a consistent basis and when I come back I try to fill y'all in on everything that's just going on but I guess we'll do that part after um this clip I just want to start the intro so I guess I'll see y'all see y'all even my camera knows I talk too much that's why it cut out no I'm just letting it rain out of space but um I'm about to go to the uh, barbershop and give me a haircut because I am in desperate need of, need of one, as we can all tell. So, um, I'm not sure what it's time this um, barber opens because this is not the one that I normally go to. But um, they should be open this 822. I'm going to have to be at work at 11. And uh, so, yeah, I was going to go Friday, which I don't know what I was thinking because I, um, I, I had to be at work at 11 today. I had to be at work at 11 on Friday, which I should have known better because um, I like to go get my haircuts done in the week because... If I wait until like Saturday to go get it, I know um, everybody and their grandpa is going to be there because that's when like uh, most people they're off on the weekends and then, you know, all the kids be out of school. So it's packed on Saturday. So I remember I used to hate, that's why I used to hate um, hitting hackers when I was younger because um, I would have to go there on Saturday while everybody's there and I would spend like an hour or two there. So I'm glad now I don't have to worry about that. I can go through the week. And I can usually get in and out during the week. But when I went Friday, I guess because with it being Easter weekend and um, all that kind of stuff, they were packed. Like the one I went to, it was packed. Like every seat was almost full. There was one more seat left and I got it. And then I was like, oh, maybe I can stay here. Cause it was like 8.30, I believe. It might've been a little after nine when I went. And I had to be at work at 11, so I had to get start getting ready at 10. So I sit there for a while, I'm like, this is not gonna work. I'm not gonna make it in time. So I went to the other barbershop, the one I, I go to all the time, and they were kind of full too. So I decided just um, to leave and um, I'll come back another time. But anyway, let me go. Um, let me go to the barber shop and I will see y'all later. I'm back with a haircut now, thank God. Um, I don't think my barber, the barber was quite open yet. But anyway, because he was still uh, doing some things around the shop when I got there. But um, next time I know to go after now because it wasn't even 8.30 when I got there. But anyway, what I'm about to do now is, and cause again, which I said I don't normally go to this barber. But I've been going to this one and the one that I uh, normally go to ever since I was little. Um, my mama, she used to take me to both of them. Uh, she would just see, you know, who was, you know, the least busier, and I would go to them. But she would alternate taking me to each one. So uh, that's kind of how I am now. But I know the barber, the other barber that I go to, he's not open on Mondays, which uh, today is a Monday. Um, so that's why I didn't go to him. So, um, and the other one, he is open on Mondays. So uh, that worked out. But anyway, um, right now what I'm going to do is about to fix me some breakfast. Um, I'm going to make these uh, strawberry cheesecake muffins. I love this brand of uh, muffins right here. Now, um, I normally don't buy the blueberry. We don't, I normally don't eat the blueberries. I normally don't eat the strawberry ones, but um, I think my sister gave these to my mama because I know my sister, she buys them all the time. Because when we were, uh, years ago, uh, my mom would always buy the strawberry for her and the blueberry for me. But yeah, Martha White is really good. Um, uh, Jiffy Mix is okay, and I think it's another brand of uh, like packaged blueberry muffins. But um, anyway, I hope we have some ground sausage. Wait, let me check right here. I hope we have some ground sausage because I really want to eat. Okay, we have a little bit. So yeah, I'm about to put these in, and uh, it's nine. 17 right now so by the time I get these cooked and eat it'll be time for me to get ready for work so that's it for right now and um, I don't know something was going wrong with my camera when I tried to vlog before I started this part and I just really hope that nothing is going wrong with this camera I mean I know I've dropped it a couple times it's looking a little rough I've had this camera for what two years almost two years now and uh, yeah I just can't hear anything going on with this camera because one I'm going on a trip I'm going to New York the week actually a week from today I'll be leaving so next Monday I'll be leaving um I'm going with my friend, uh, Sharice, 
Um, and she's actually, it's some kind of concert she's going to. I think the name of the con the group is EXO or EXO. I think they're like a, either a Japanese or Korean type group or something like that. I'm just using this opportunity as, uh, using this as a chance to go to, um, New York. Because that's some place I've always wanted to be. I've always wanted to go and visit. So that's good. Um, because she asked me about it at work. Um, and I was like, yeah, I'll go to, and I was like, you can go to the concert and I just want to go to New York. So, um, yeah, I'm going with her. And, uh, everything is official. Um, I've been... I don't know, I just, I couldn't, I don't know, I couldn't get ready for it because it wasn't official, but now that I've actually bought my plane ticket, it's like, it's official. The only thing is we ran into one little bump in the road that we have to work out, and we have like a week, so I actually need to text her about that right now. So, um, yeah, and I need to give me some luggage. Now, y'all know when I went to Atlanta for my, um, the, the Beyonce, uh, concert, I, um, I borrowed my sister's luggage, but have one, I do want my own luggage anyway, and then B, I'm, I hope this doesn't happen, but if my luggage d does get lost, I'm sure they can find it, but I don't want, you know, somebody else's luggage getting lost, so I could borrow theirs, and plus I just need my own luggage, because I do plan on, you know, traveling now, you know, now I'm getting, now I'm getting older, and I just want to travel, so I need to have my own luggage, and plus we might be, we're trying to get like a, my family trying to get like a little family trip up to go to the beach, either the beach or somewhere in Tennessee, I don't know. And uh, I'm need my own luggage for that. So, I, cause if me, my sister and her family is going, I can't borrow their luggage, cause they'll be going too. So I just need me some luggage, and I've been looking for some online. And the stuff that I see, see is either too high, or I don't like the colors that it comes in. But anyway, um, yeah, I'm drinking a Coca Cola. I, I, I was been doing, been doing real good on my no drinks and stuff like that. All of them took, all of them took like maybe mid last year. But anyway, um, yeah. So I need to get some stuff situated with my trip. And uh, we just, everything is good with the trip. We just ran into one little bump in the road. And I'll probably talk about that um, maybe later. But first, I just, I don't want to speak negativity into the trip. I just hope that this gets worked out. So, um, what else I have to say? Need to find some luggage. And, um, but yeah, like I said, about the family trip, um, I may not be able to go because, like, the way my job works, when you're requesting uh, vacation days or whatever, they do it by seniority. So if there's somebody else that's within the same job category as me, who's been there longer than me, if we both uh, request those days, who's ever been there longer in that job category, they'll get it first. And because my family, they're trying to go the week of the 4th of July, I, I, can, I, I can already, you know, we're not going to speak it into existence, we're not going to speak negativity, but I can, the 4th of July, is uh, that's, a, that's a high popularity, that's a high, um, what am I trying to say? I don't know, but that's 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 like I can pretty much guarantee, but I don't want to speak it, but I can pretty much guarantee somebody else is gonna take that week. Um and since I there's two people who have started after me, but they're in different job categories. So technically I'm like the last person that started at my job, but yeah, I can pretty much guarantee somebody else is gonna get there. But we're not gonna speak it, we're just gonna think, hey, you know, even though we're leaving the day after the fourth of July, but anyway, um I guess I'll keep y'all posted on all that stuff, but let me hurry up and get this stuff ready. It's 921 now. Get these muffins made and get my sauces made so I can eat, get ready for work, and go make this day. I'll talk to y'all later. What's up, y'all? It's the next day. I am the worst vlogger. Um, I ain't even finished what I was doing yesterday. I don't even know where I left off yesterday. Um, I think I was uh cooking my breakfast, and then nothing happened yesterday. So, um, I know yesterday I was talking about how I was kind of worried about we ran into a little bump in the road as far as our trip goes. But um, I text Cherise yesterday, and um, the Lord fixed it. Um, that's been worked out, so I'm really happy about that. So really, um, the only thing, as far as the trip goes, the only thing I have to worry about now is getting me a some luggage. Um, I saw some on the Walmart website. It was pretty reasonable. See, my my standards are just you know a little high. Not, I don't know. Well, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, I wanted like one of those really hard type luggages. And I don't know why I was thinking I was going to get one for, rel for relatively relatively cheap. But uh, those bags were expensive. But anyway, I saw like a little a set on Walmart.com. And I saw it on a couple of other websites too. But I saw it on Walmart first. Um, it was just a regular bag. And it had like a tote bag that you can use for um, like a carry-on. It was like $30-something. But I don't think I didn't like about it. The colors that they had, they didn't stick out to me. Like one of them, it was like this really loud, it was this really loud like orangey yellow type color and then it had like a I think a pink and then um like this it was like a mix between a dark green and a light green and um then it had like a very bright blue now I like blue but I don't want that in my luggage so that was out but um <clears throat> I think it was last Friday uh this past Friday I went to Goodies because one of my co-workers told me about a 50% off sale that they were having and she said it was 50% off of everything in the store which that was a lie so the only reason I went really because I wanted to go see if they had any uh, Levi jeans on sale 
um, we'll see if I can find a pair of Levi jeans or any pair of jeans. Uh, I should have known better than that. When I got in there, like, the 50% off, it excluded, like, I think Lee and Levi jeans, so that was out. So I said, well, they don't have any jeans that really, I really, they did have some that were on sale, but they were the kind that had, like, those little, um, like, those little white, I guess, like, distressed or whatever you call them. Um, I really didn't want any of those. And so I said, well, they don't have anything in the clothing that I would like. Uh, so let me punch it down to the home section, because I've been saying I want to buy me some new pots and pants and stuff like that. Um, I've been saying I want to get some more of those, so I went over there. None of that stuff was on sale. And then I looked over and I saw some luggage, which they had Dockers, which y'all know Dockers, they make like pants and uh, stuff like that. I didn't even know they made, they, I didn't even know they had um, luggage. But anyway, um, I went over there and I saw this bag and they had like the hard material, but it was a smaller bag. And I really wanted one of the bigger bags, but I'm not going to be gone that long. Like we leave on Monday and we're coming back on Wednesday. So um, I can make it work. And it, it had on there, um, I forgot what the regular price was, but it had a clearance uh, sale uh, tag on it, and um, it was marked down at ninety nine ninety nine, and so the sale was for fifty percent off. So I'm thinking that it had it had it had already been marked down ninety nine dollars. It wasn't gonna get marked down again. I should have asked, but um, that would that would have been a pretty good deal to pay like fifty some dollars for that bag. But anyway, I missed it on that, so I'm just gonna go. Look at Walmart. I looked at Walmart the other day, but it was just like a quick glance. So I'm going to go to Walmart probably today or tomorrow. And then I'm going to go also go to Roses. My mom said Roses had luggage too. So, um, I'm so proud of myself. It's 8 o'clock now. I have to be at work at 8.30. Um, I've got my shower, so all I have to do is put on my clothes. I'm doing really good on time. But let me go ahead and get ready now. And I'll talk to y'all later. I'm ready. I'm ready to go to work. Um, my schedule said I was supposed to be at 8.45. So, I'm going to have to ask my manager about that when I get there. Because I know 8.30 is the minimum. Like, if you ain't there by 8.30, you're late. So I had to ask her what's up with that. But, um, today's gonna be a great day. I'm so proud of myself. Like, I got up. And, um, because after I found out I had to be at work at 8.30, because I thought I had to be at work today at 8.15. But, um, I was gonna get up at 7, then I sat at the lounge around in the bed till about 7.20-ish. Got ready, took my showers out of the shower, you know, got out of the shower, you know, brushed my teeth, washed my face, all that kind of stuff. Um, and I was still out by 8 o'clock, so, um, that's the part. If this is any inclination of how my day is gonna go, it's great. So I'm gonna have a great day at work today, um, and then I'm uh, get some stuff done once I get home. And uh, cause Mama, uh, our iron, I bought her iron last year for Mother's Day. This what she said she wanted. So I got her iron. It was a shark iron. And um, and when I got to the register, the, the cashier she was like, "Would you like to get the uh, two year protection plan?" I'm so glad I did that. Cause so about it's been about what a month and a half, about about a month now probably a little over a month now um it just stopped working and so i'm so glad i got the two-year replacement plan so um i've been putting it out for a couple of weeks now um i need to call them and um well i need to contact the um the manufacturer so i can get it like shipped back and um <clears throat> which i really know i really hope i don't have to but i'm probably gonna have to pay for the shipping and all that kind of stuff but um I need to get that situated because I've been putting it off for like three weeks now. So, um, need to get that situated. And, um, I need to call Charter because Mama got a new box. We thought, um, something was wrong with our old TV in the living room, but, um, we have a new TV in there now. And, um, and it's still, like, it's, the picture is very pixelated and stuff like that. So, my only thing, um, to fix it was just to get a new box. And so, I've been saying I was going to get a new box. I said I was going to take it back last week. I didn't do it. So, she took it upon herself yesterday to go take it back. Her and my sister went and got a new one. And so I hooked it up. You know, they say you have to activate it. And they say once you do that, they'll signal send no, they'll send a signal. And then within 15 minutes it should be working. Uh that was yesterday evening when I got off and the TV is still not working. So one thing, which I don't know if they because y'all know the, the old way if you have charter. Uh like the old scientific Atlanta boxes, those were just like for basic TVs. And um just like the regular boxes. And we have a basic TV in the living room because my mama she doesn't like flat screen TV. Flat, flat screen TV, like the newer, like, HD TVs and stuff like that, so that's what she got, and, um, but yesterday when she came home, she had an HD box, like, that, the one I have for my flat screen TV, and they, I guess, you know, they, they're using those for the basic ones now, so that might be the reason it's not working. I just got off of work, um, I stopped at McDonald's because I was hungry, I'm about to starve, like, y'all know sometimes when you're so hungry that you start feeling like you gotta throw up, sick, like you gotta throw up, I was having one of those kind of things. Um, I was gonna eat before I left this morning, but, um, I didn't have enough time to make like a, well, I don't do that anyway. I don't make like a real breakfast. And even here, oatmeal, but I didn't want oatmeal. But anyway, I was going to stop and give me a biscuit, but I changed my mind. Anyway, I'm hungry now, so I'm at uh, McDonald's. Which, um, 
Y'all know how a lot of, a lot of the uh, McDonald's location, they have like two drive-up windows, well two windows where you can place your order. So um, from here on out, I'm going to go to the first one and not the one that's on the end. Because um, there's a car. There's like three cars, have paid. they were here before me and the two cars in front of me. And they haven't even taken their order yet. And they did me that same way a couple weeks ago. It was like three cars that pulled up on the, on the in, inner side, on the inside window, on the first window. And uh, they had taken their orders first and I was like already there. So from here on out, I don't care how long the line is in the first one, I'm going to the first one. And they just did that to them. So anyway, I got me some chicken McNuggets. Then when I get home, I got to finally get this stuff situated with that iron. Um, I can't put it off anymore. I actually called them one day. I was going to call them one day. And then um, it was 4 o'clock my time. But by the time, um, but when I called them, it, apparently it was 5 o'clock that time. So they already closed. So anyway, I um, got to get that situated. Um, I ordered me some shoes. Because I wanted to get me a new pair of shoes. Now, I did get me a new pair of shoes a couple of weeks ago. I got the um, Nike Fly Stepper. Um, they're the same, which is the same kind of shoes that I had before. The ones that I got um, year before last. I think I got them in like September 2015. They're the same shoes as them, only they're a different color. These are all gray. And the ones that I have now, they're black, white, and gray. Um, but I, I just want a new pair for when I go to New York next week. Um, <clears throat> I just want a new pair. Because um, those fly steppers, those are the ones I'm going to use as more like a dress up uh, type of shoe. Because I didn't buy me any new tennis shoes last year. Um, and then um, I just needed something a little more casual that I can wear like every day. So I got me some, I forgot what they're called, like Nike Prime, something like that. I don't know. Um, I ordered those and I got rush shipping. Well, not rush shipping, I got like two day shipping. Um, Cause I want to make sure they're here um, in time for Monday when I leave. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say right now. Um, I'll catch up with y'all later. All right, y'all, I got the TV working, which you can see behind me. All I had to do was um, reboot it, um, or restart it, or reset it. This is what I'm looking for. Reset it. It did the little loading process, came on, and as you can tell, it's working perfectly good. Cause I'm smart. I be thinking I'm smart. But anyway, finally got that um, situation with the iron fixed up. So, oh, here's a box right here. Um, so, all I have to do, they gave me the labels, which I did have to pay a dollar and ten cents, but just charge it to the game. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing, really. Um, which I don't understand it because um, I want Wal I need Walmart and um, whoever their company is that they uh, partner with to do this protection plan. I need, to get, need them to get it together because I um, bought the iron last year, 2016. I purchased the replacement plan, which was for two years. So technically it should be good until 2018. That's what it says on the Walmart website. When I called the woman and told her about it, I was like, I have a jolly wrench in my mouth. She was like, you bought it last year and it's, it's a little over a year. So it's kind of over the warranty. Um, it's, uh, but we'll make an exception this time. We'll replace it for a dollar. But I'm saying that kind of defeats the purpose. If I have a two year plan, it doesn't make sense. It should be good until 2018. But anyway, finally got that, finally got that situated. And um, so tomorrow, I was going to ship it today because my sister, um, she called me and asked if I wanted the prior wire while she go pick up her kids from school. And I was just going to drop it off on it, but I don't have a box to put the... I have the original box that the iron came in, but I don't want to ship it in there. That's... I uh, can't do that. And, uh, well, there's actually one right there. But I'll just wait until I go to work tomorrow at my other job. And uh, I know I can find a box there. And I won't have to buy one because I'm smart. I'm thinking. Um, so I'll get a box tomorrow and I go to work. And ship it off tomorrow. Um, yeah, ship it off tomorrow. So in the meantime, I need to be. There's a couple things that I need to be doing. I need to be studying because I have a test later on this week for my um, business and society class. I need to be studying for that. I also need to be working on my homework assignments for my calculus class that I do on Sunday. And I also, I need to be getting. Um, I need to go ahead while I'm thinking about it. And because um, this one is the um, the test for my. Um, the test for my, what am I trying to say? The test for my business society class, it's proctored, so I have to have somebody monitor me while I take it, so I need to go ahead and register for that, pay my money, so I'm gonna have to pay the extra $5. I need to do it now. Probably take it Saturday once I get off of work, so I need to schedule around mm, two something, maybe three, I don't know. So I need to get that situated. And then also I need to have a vlog that I need to be um, editing. So there's just so much I need to do, but um, I'm gonna take me a little nap. Just relax for a little bit. And I need to find something to eat. What are we going to eat today? I don't know. And um, that's actually what I need to talk about. Um, I need to pray. 
I just need to pray. Well, what's been going on with me lately? I have just not been motivated. And I don't, I just, I can't kick it. Um, can't kick it. Does that make sense? I don't know. I just can't get over this. It's just like, with everything, I know if any of you watch my cooking channel, you know I haven't uploaded a video in about, probably almost two months now. And, um, and I don't know what it is. At first, I had an excuse because I was working a lot. Now, um, even though I work two jobs, like a lot of times, like I have days like today where I only work like half of day. I work from 8 to 12.30. A couple of weeks ago, it was like I was working like every day. I know for two weeks straight, I worked every day at both my jobs. And it wasn't just like half days and then like that. Like I would work like seven and eight hour days. So that was kind of part of the reason because I would, I would just be tired. I wouldn't feel like doing anything. But I don't know what's been going on lately. Like, I haven't even been writing any recipes or trying to even think about anything to post on my cooking channel. And that's kind of sad. I haven't even been cooking that much for real. Like, I haven't even... I can't think of the last time, like, I just made something. Probably around Christmas was the last time I really made something. I can't remember. I could be wrong. Well, not no, because that's a lie. Uh, when did I make that, that cake? I don't know. But it's just been a while. I haven't... I really, I haven't even been cooking that much. And that's kind of sad, because when you love to do something like I, like I love to cook, so, there's something seriously wrong so I need to pray about it and figure out what's going on with that and then like my school work I just like when I have to do that I just think oh I gotta do this again which I know there are a lot of people who don't necessarily get excited about school work I know there's not too many people who actually get excited about it but I mean I don't get excited about it but I, like I know I have to do it and lately it's just been like oh I gotta do this again and so I can't I can't I can't deal with that because that's that's negative and if I continue on with this negativity is going to be reflected in my schoolwork and so I can't let that happen and so um yeah I'm just no I just I haven't been motivated but I got I'm gonna pray about it and I ask God to just remove this non-motivation don't want to do this like I just want him I want to ask him to remove that from me because I don't want to be like that but anyway um yeah that's what I was gonna talk about so now, um, I'm about to just chill for a little bit, try to find me some luggage, even though I've looked at it. I'm, I'm not even going to look online, because I know today's Tuesday. I have to leave on Monday. So, um, I'm, I'm just going to go to Walmart, and I said I was going to go to Rose's Day when I got off. <sighs> It'll probably be fr Friday before I actually buy anything, but I'm just either go to Walmart or Rose's and just buy me a bag. And then I'm going to use my book bag as, like, my carry-on. Because the plan is... All of my real important stuff, I'm keeping on me. Like, um, I said I wasn't going to take my laptop, but I think I'm going to take it. Um, I'm not going to take my iPad, though. Um, my laptop, my phone, all that stuff is going to be with me. Um, I am going to take my tripod with me, so I need to find a bag that's big enough to fit my tripod in. Because I do want to film a video um, while I'm up there uh, with Cherise. So, hopefully, she'll be up to doing it. Hopefully, she'll be on the vlog. Hope she don't mind me on the vlog. I ask her about that. But, anyway, um... Yeah, so I need to get that situated, and then I also need to figure out how much money I'm taking with me, like spending money wise. I want to see. Hopefully, we can go to Times Square while we're there. I need to figure out how far Times Square is from there, and then um, that reminds me, I need to download Uber on my phone, which I got me a new phone, y'all. It's it's still an old phone. I have the iPhone 5s now, um, coming from the iPhone 5c. The struggle is so real. I just I found out that I I can get a discount from AT and T. AT&T through my job. So that's really good right there. So that'll save some money. Just the whole idea of paying full price up front for a phone. It just it doesn't appeal to me. Luckily I got a pretty good deal on the phone I have now. The whole point of paying a, the full price of a phone up front. And like the phones I want are expensive. So I can't drop you know $750, $800 on a phone. Like that. I just don't have it like that. So I would much rather be on contract with phone. Which a lot of these carriers they're so smart now. Because they have it now where you have to um finance your phone over the length of your contract or whatever because I, I can I can kind of I can understand it because I know um in certain situations people they would get approved to be on contract well you know um a long time ago a while ago you can get this phone for a very discounted rate like you can get a phone like maybe two hundred dollars like the newest phone at the time for like two hundred dollars and be done with it and then I know a lot of people they would get those phones get it at this really good price and then they would keep the contract for like uh, maybe two or three months and then here they are they stuck with this seven hundred phone $700 phone that they got for two hundred dollars and so the, I, I can see from a business perspective me being a business major I can see why companies are doing it like, like now because it kind of causes a loss to the company so I can understand that but uh, yeah I really want to go to AT&T 
And um, I thought about Verizon too. Um, Cause I do realize that Verizon service is better. Um, at least around here where I am. But anyway, um, I'm kind of leaning more towards AT and T. Just want to come in and update the vlog a little bit. Um, I did actually cook. I mean, it's kind of um, a last minute thing. Um, it's a little late because it's 9:39 now. Um, I wish I would have gotten up. I actually fell asleep after I left the vlog earlier. But anyway, um, here's the food. Um, I fried some chicken, buttermilk fried chicken. Um, but we didn't have a lot of buttermilk, so I kind of had to work with what we had. And I roasted some potatoes right here. And so that's what we're gonna have. And I also made a peach cobbler, but um, I've been sampling off the peach cobbler, so uh, it's a little dissected right now. But I just I just took a little sample out of it. But it's peach cobbler, same recipe. So if you want to watch, if you want to see my recipe on how to make it, uh, go on over to my cooking channel. But anyway, I'm about to chat down on this food, and I'll talk to y'all probably tomorrow. I don't think I have anything else to say tonight.